Hare Krishna. In Bhagavad Gita, <clears throat> in the fourth chapter, Krishna says, Imam Vivaswate Jogam Proktavanaham Avyayam Vivaswan Manave Praha Manurikshakave Bravid Evam Parampara Praptam Imam Raja Sayo Vidu. Krishna says, Long, long ago, I first spoke <coughs> this knowledge to Vivaswan. Vivasvan spoke to Manu, Manu to Ikshaku. In this way, the knowledge has come down in parampara. <clears throat> so parampara means that Bhagavad Gita was spoken by Krishna and who is speaking in, in English we say disciplic succession, <clears throat> who has heard from his guru, who heard from his guru, on and on back until you have who heard from Krishna getting the same knowledge that is the parampara. So in the Puranas it is described there are four Vaishnava paramparas present in the world today. And <clears throat> Srila Prabhupada is appearing in the Brahma Gaudiya Sampradaya passing on the same knowledge which Krishna first spoke in Bhagavad Gita. Then Krishna says, Sa evaya maya teja yoga prokta puratana bhakta si mesaka chaiti rahasyam yetar uttamam. Sakali neha mahata yoga nashta parantapa. That in due course of time this chain of guru, disciple, parampara became broken, so I am again speaking to you. So the example is given in India. <coughs> There are many mangoes. Sometimes the mangoes are very high up in the tree. So somebody has to climb the tree, <clears throat> pick the mango, but then it cannot just be thrown down to the ground. Somebody will be climbing a little lower and it will be passed down from one to another to another until it reaches. So the parampara is like that. It is the original perfect knowledge of Krishna passed down through the chain of disciplic succession from guru to disciple and his disciple, his disciple, until it reaches us at present. That is Guru Parampara Hare Krishna. <clears throat> 